That's why they called us. Flex on. Andre Dolceev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Milani's oh. <clears throat> killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is jet streams. Yep, sand. my nigga. <laughs> Believe you. Why does the dude kick my ass, Mister? The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. Really, he was. <laughs> he may not even be in country. <laughs> oh, he's in there. Keep an eye out. Oh. That's Sorry. fucked up, Kev. Ready for he looks a little salty. You can see the red. Oh, fuck, I lost him. Oh, I'll be pretty pissed too if I lost the damn eye. Uh... Oh, shit. I'm going back with Woody. Oh, hit him with snake pose. You know, real talk, man. I'm getting tired of people, you know, being like, "Oh, I don't want to play the game." You know, with he looks kind of lame with them still. Like, man, real talk. You don't understand how raw this dude is. He even used the fucking stilettos to kick people as they're weapons. He ain't using them just to look pretty. He's using six weapons. Okay. Quick explanation for everything I'm about to touch because some shit's gonna be off. Raiden, you landed safely, da? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on the solid gun radar. Contact us on codec if you Okay, first thing, bro. What the hell is that in my hand? What the hell is that on my back? And what the hell is Ryan doing in the suit? And. Yeah, and why is his hair like that? First thing first. To explain, the Fox Blade, I maxed out the, uh, the power. And the special effect and makes him just cut through it and it's the special effect means he cuts through anything I still have the high frequency blade on oh, really that's besides the point that's the DLC that you downloaded it sub weapons those are sub weapons so I'm gonna go that to none because I really don't need them anyway uh hold on this is a, a unique weapon basically a sub weapon so you know complement your main weapon uh, and you get this after you beat the first boss on this level well the first real boss of the game and of course you can see those are health items over there in the corner which carry over all these items carry over for the last time I played which I was just grinding that AP that AP BP shit battle points okay uh, uh, to explain okay now the reason why Ryan's hair has changed because you get three different wicks and I'll show you them right now just to do it. Okay, I show you basically everything what I got anyway, and I'll tell you how to get it, etc. etc. Okay, okay, I got all these different costumes, and yes, I bought them all. Okay, you start off with this, and whatever if you did pre order it, you get either Gray Fox, Inferno, the Inferno one, the white one, the Commando one, it depends on where you, you pre order the game from. And these two, like that and whatever you pre-order for them, or if you didn't even pre-order, you just get this. And so later. Now, this, you get this later on in the game when you beat that dude who killed the, uh, killed the Prime Minister earlier in the game. This suit, you get this when you beat the first level on very hard, which is why I have it, because, you know, as you can see, I beat the game on very hard. Beat, and I beat, and this is, comes later. And the next, as a matter of fact, the next chapter has a picked this up, and it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. And this is the first body, and you get this. I think after you beat this game on very hard, if I remember right. And of course, it's DLC. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much everything I got. And there's no real th these, none of these really. Okay, so the only one that has a special effect is uh, this one right here. It makes it less likely to be discovered, but I really don't care. Okay, all my weapons I have: the high frequency blade. Oh, you, this is the default weapon. You get this, and this one right here. You get this when you get all 30 left arms. Now these left arms, are, you uh, are like DNA, and then they also sh they'll show up as blinking. They'll show up as like blinking green, 
they'll show the trust me i'll show you a little bit later in the level this sword if you can't tell that is which one calls sword i'm gonna tell you how i got it well yeah yeah i will you get this by beating jet street sam later on in the game but you won't really get able to have it have it to beat the game and this is as of course dlc if you you know got this from gamestop so anyway and plus the reason why i have this one over this one's because this special effect cuts through everything while this one i don't know it, it, it's a pretty cool looking sword but if you have this i mean there's no point to have this but you know i have it just to have it just look good and i have and of course i will always use this freaking sword i mean this sword's just wicked look at look at it and then you know the default one and then now uh, unique weapons i'm not gonna lie these two are ass and this is the only one don't buy these don't waste your money on buying any of these you're not really getting anything in my opinion in my opinion i really getting anything out of these except for this one you can stun people but you know considering everything else you get it's really not worth it. and this is just heavy i mean it's slow as hell i mean it doesn't really put in it would it sucks for you get into higher difficulties which i'm playing on which sucks and then now you play and then this is the best one because it's it's fast and it does a lot of damage and gets a lot of hits in and it's basically the lunar staff of the game and it, as you can see i maxed up the attack power and you get this when you beat the bank the first boss of the level like i said earlier now these three uh wigs now this week you get this when you beat the game on hard uh, you get this wig right here when you get 20 of those left arms and you get this one right here this blonde wig when you get uh, When you get all 30 of them now what they all do this one gives you infinite sub weapons which comes in handy for like one boss later on This one is probably the best one in my opinion of the game because it gives you infinite blade mode and that's basically it. I mean, you don't have to really charge. I mean, you can go have on basically your Reaper mode is unlimited. You do hella damage. It makes the game a hell of a lot easier for these cheap ass parts. The blonde one, basically, when you go into blade mode, it, you kill everything with one hit, regardless, besides the boss. But that, uh, compared that to this one, I, I, it's a better sacrifice because if this one had unlimited, if this one had the, the ability of to have unlimited fuel cells, compared, combine that with the one hit kill this will be the one hands down but like, this one these two are better but we're real, really this one's better for the lower difficulty i don't know why that they would make this one the hardest or well, it's not really even hard to get but the like the one you have to get the most for but hey i ain't complaining the blue one's the best one if you had to choose if you had to choose out of three i would recommend the blue one because have unlimited fuel cells and you know i maxed out my life uh there's now you only go to 140 but you got you can find enhancers throughout the th rest of the game i can probably i'll show you two spots of the where i found some uh skill i got all the skills for basically the main weapon which carries over to all your other high five weapons and that's pretty much it enough with the talking i gave you a little quick bio and the reason why i'm not wearing the fox hound one is because the Great Fox one, I mean, sorry. Ooh, Frank Yeager would be pissed at me. He'd probably come and cut me in my sleep. But anyway, like I was saying. I should let me get my charge right quick. Now, the reason why I don't have that one on is because I like the suit. Because it looks cool. I mean, look at the professional kick and everybody's ass. And this cat. Meet again. Yep, that one cat. Never gonna be able to beat him. Okay, now the difference between hard and very hard. You can have these three enemies. Could, if you see the door right there, I guess someone's gonna come running, running his big ass on from out of there. So straight blade. Grab this. Okay, that should take care of that. I made that. I made that look extremely easy, didn't I? You know, that. But I'm. T I'm warning you now. That freaking gorilla-looking thing, or pro is probably one of the gayest bosses. That boss is the gayest enemies in the game. They take. This takes more health 
than any boss I've ever freaking